Hello again, back with the next one. Um, this one is a little bit bigger. Um, it's five by eight, if you include the fabric as well. Um, the spine of this one is done the same way as the other one. I've put the book uh, covers straight onto the fabric and used the fabric as the spine. And then I've added another layered um, spine on top. I didn't make this one as big because um, the original book cover is just so lovely. Um, the image of the girl on here is just so nice. I didn't want to cover it up. So I've tried to make the cover come around her and keep her as the focal point. Uh, again, it's another sari with some uh, vintage buttons. Um, I've used the Tim Holtz roses on the front of this one that I used the alcohol inks on. I still think I might put something here. I keep looking at it thinking I think it needs something down here. So I, think, I still think I might try and find something that I'll go along here somewhere. I've got this heart's lovely. Um, it goes with the theme of this book. So I've added that. And again, the, the, the way this book has aged is really lovely. I've added some gold. I don't know if that'll come up on the camera, but again, I've used the gilding wax on here as well. So this book again is Medieval Mirage Pages and Mrs. Coggs, I think mainly again with the, I think it's Roxy Creations, um, but I will double check that. I'm trying to remember to list them all below, but it's more of these vintage letters which I've put on, which I've put on either tracing paper or the newsprint. Both give a lovely vintage feel. And I just thought they go with the themes of these books really well. This one's really smart because they just look really old. So again, the pocket on the inside and the back match, they're um, the same um, with sari and tulle stitched on and lots of, there's lots of layers on the edges of pages on this one as well. And again, I've used die cuts and um, ink, stamping, decoupage napkin, same idea as the, the first book. I sort of did each process sort of at the same time for each book. Just the decorating at the end that I um, I did differently. I love this napkin. It's perfect for this sort of theme. I've used this, which I cannot remember the name of it at all. But again, I will list it. It's a Mrs. Cog's... Um, kit and I just love it. Um, it's all these, I think they're sort of 1920s maybe images, but they just go with the theme I was doing for this book perfectly. I've used a few charms that I rusted, so they go quite nice with this. And it, the little seed beads I've used in this one are a sort of rusted brown colour as well, which all sort of tie together. Again, some more little cards there done on either newsprint or tracing paper. For the for these, I've put a little, these are glass um, hearts on the ties. There's a lot of journaling space in this one. Um, okay, and a wee pocket here. Another wee, I was going to put something in the middle of there, which I will do. I wanted a wee something in there and I've obviously forgotten. I've got a wee tip here of lace. There's three signatures again in this one. Again I've left the signatures quite far apart because you know you can put stuff in and you've got a section in the book that you could add your own bits and pieces to so I thought that was quite good. Another image, I really like these ones. And again, I've used some of the journaling cards from this kit. I've decorated the top and put them in as uh, bookmark journaling cards. And we've got these as well. And I've got a wee crown on this one as well. And more die cuts. Another wee heart. Love these, just so pretty. 
And I've got some more wee cards here. And another wee burst of tulle. Um, I don't know if you can see them, but there's little um, clear seed beads in this one. These are lovely. They sort of, they're the ones that sort of change colour slightly as the light hits them. I'm not sure you'll see that on camera. And another one of these. I think these are uh, spring, winter and summer type themes to them. So we've got a wee journaling card in here. And another couple ones that all match. And these are from the Medieval Mirage kit, these ones. I've got another little charm that I've, um, I think I rusted that one as well, yeah. And another wee tuck here, and another wee flip there. Me bail off that one as well. Another little bookmark. Another few journaling cards in here. I've got another wee heart as well. Some more journaling cards here. And this is a page from the Medieval Mirage kit I've just popped in. It's upside down. No, that we go. And some of the tickets that come in that kit as well. I thought they were really cute to pop in there. So, um, so yes, yeah, so that's that one. I think I could probably do the other one in this video as well, actually, rather than putting a third video up. This one is uh, different to the other two in that it's um, it's more silver, obviously. Um, I've used silver vintage buttons on the end of this tie. Uh, this one, I found a kit, another Mrs. Cog's kit, and it's based around a Sir Walter Scott poem um, called La Lady of the Lake. Um, Sir Walter Scott was a writer and he wrote all about the MacGregors um, in Scotland and being a MacGregor myself um, I was sort of drawn to make a book around that kit um, because I really liked um, the sort of connection to it. Um, the poem goes on about a loch in Scotland called uh, Loch Catrin which is just outside Glasgow and my daughter is actually named after the loch um, because it's a McGregor country and being McGregors, we thought it'd be quite a nice name to use. Not that anyone pronounces it right. My poor daughter's called Katrine the whole time, but Catrin is the way you pronounce the loch. Um, so, yes, so I've tied this book round the Lady of the Lake images and because there's quite a lot of blue tar in, in, her, uh, in her picture, the illustrations are from a Sir Walter Scott book, I tied the blue and the silver around the blue tartan within the kit. So this one, the cover for this one, um, this is actually the third cover I ended up making for this book. It was a, the first couple were a bit of a disaster. Um, but when I made this one, it didn't, I, the fabric's lovely. Um, you'll see it between, um, you can see it between the, the signatures. But I wasn't that keen on it once I did it, so I ended up putting more and more layers to cover the, the original um, cover because the fabric wasn't quite right. Um, so I've ended up with lots and lots of layers, but I, I actually love how it turned out. So the, the fabric is on card and then there's a, a tree doily and then there's the um, slow stitch cover, which is three layers in itself. It's another doily fabric and tulle. So, it's a substantial cover now, um, 
even though, so I really like how it turned out in the end, even though initially it was a wee bit of a disaster. Um, and this is lovely, this is a necklace that I took to bits and I've used the used them um, on the cover and a few on paper clips as well. So I like how they turned out. So we've got, again, matching pockets on the inside um, and on the front we've got uh, beads, uh, pearls. Uh, I think they're glass because they're cold, so they're, they're glass pearls um, on the threads. And again, I printed one of these letters onto blue. Is this the blue paper? No, this is the letter blue. It's a blue letter printed onto the newsprint. So again, it came out really nice. And I popped in some more of these tickets as well from Medieval Mirage. And again, there's a few paper. Um, there's a few paper collages in this one as well. So this is a another glass bead here. So this is Lady of the Lake. Um, and these are the images that come with this so you'll see it better in some of the other ones but she wears a, a blue tartan throughout so that's why I've ended up with all the blue in this one and these are a couple of other tags from the Medieval Mirage um, kit and I've used this paper here it's from a place in Orkney which is just over the water from me a vintage papers company I think they're called and they do just the most beautiful paper. So this is handmade paper from there. So we've got another pocket here with various bits and pieces. And this is another image from Mrs. Cog's kit. And I've got some silver hearts on paper clips on this one as well. I use these big giant ones. So it's another image from the Lady of the Lake. And I made that into a wee flip and some that's on tracing paper. Um, I've thrown in a little bit of red because there's sort of tones go. I don't know if it'll I think it might look a bit bright on camera, but it does actually work having the red thrown in as well. I've done decoupage with a napkin in this one as well, but it's um it's a very faint colour, so it blends away lovely. It just gives you a really nice effect. So I've got quite a few kilts um in this kit as well. Can't go wrong with a good kilt. And I've done quite a lot of uh, collages in on this one and they're, they are just for decoration, they're not tucks or anything. I just had fun decorating the pages. And again what I love about this kit is some of the images are black and white and they're just lovely. I love the way they're drawn. So they they actually come really white, but I tea dyed around the edges to give them an aged look. Oh, that's one of my cats making an appearance. Hopefully, I'll stay away. And again, this is the decoupage napkin, which you only just see. Oh, we're tangled. And a couple of little cards from one of the Medieval Mirage kits, and there's two wee beads on this one. Get rid of that. And again, I've got one of these printed on the blue paper this time. Here. Move that over a wee bit so it's not on her face. Sort that up here. And I've got another wee frilly on the edge there. Another little collage here. Again, this one's got a good amount of uh, journaling space. And I've got some more of these lovely images here. I should really put a copy of the poem 
in, or at least some of it. There's some bits from it that are quite famous. Um, I love this image, it's one of my favourite. I nearly made it on, until I found the necklace in my stash, this was going to be my front cover, because I really like this one. You really see the blue. And it's another one which I've done as a wee top flip. Now because of the way I've done these, some of the pages are, they're not, they are a wee bit squee with, um, but I like that. So if you want everything straight and perfect, my books are absolutely not for you. I do like the scruffy, um, not quite perfect look. Um, I like the fact that there's a few castles through this one um, from the Medieval Mirage kit. Another little collage here. Another really nice images and a few more kilts. I like this one. This is very much sort of Mackenzie looking. I'm a Mackenzie before I was a McGregor. So this is uh, the green in this one is very much like the Mackenzie Tara. cards and um, this is the front cover obviously of the original book that these images come from it's another wee tuck here again love this really love the way these are drawn and another wee old letter in the back and some tickets So um, there's uh, four pearls stitched into the back of this one as well. Um, I think they're glass. So there we go. So that's my three latest books. Um, I think at least two of them are already spoken for and possibly a third, but they will go in my shop um, probably tomorrow if they're free. Um, I'm just waiting to hear back. Um, after some ladies watch this vi these videos on whether they're taking them or not. Um, but uh, if they don't, then they will just go in my shop. As uh, So keep an eye out on that if you're interested. But other than that, thank you very much for watching. Thank you. Bye.